there, I'm Christina from HairRomance.com and let's talk about Denman hairbrushes. That's these ones. I have started using these to style my curls and my waves and I had a question on Instagram, I'm HairRomance there if you want to follow me, asking which one would be best for their hair. So this is a question I get a lot actually um, and I wanted to just compare the brushes I have so you can see exactly what they look like and help you decide which one might be best for you. First up, Denman comes in two sizes. They come in the small and the large size. Funny enough, I bought this small one um, just as a good travel option, but it's one I reach for the most. Uh, it only has five rows of bristles. Often you'll see Denman brushes listed with a number. This one is a seven. I think they also have a nine. Uh, and people can sometimes take this out and remove the rows of bristles, customize it to suit your hair as well. Personally, I'm a really big fan of the small five brush. Uh, I have a lot of hair, um, I have quite thick hair, and you'd think this one would take a bit longer, but I just really like doing them in smaller sections. I find that it makes styling a little bit easier, and afterwards I don't have huge clumps that are really stuck to my head that I need to separate. It makes the process at the end a little bit quicker. Otherwise, this brush is also great. Um, I would recommend this if you had longer hair. The thing that is um, more problematic is when you want to wrap it around the handle, because that's part of the styling process with using a Denman. And that, that's when, if you have really long hair, that the larger brush is probably going to make it easier for you to manage. So what makes the Denman brushes so special? They have been around for a long time. They were one of the favorite brushes for Vidal Sassoon, and they're still made in the UK. Uh, they have a rubber base and a plastic bristle but the thing I like about these is that they don't snag, they're very smooth and they make it easier to wash and clean, particularly when you're styling with a lot of curling products. The other famous brush from the UK is the Mason Pearson, but that has a totally different purpose. That is much more of a finishing brush. It's great for brushing dry hair. It's good for smoothing when you want to do up styles and for brushing out curls and waves as well. But the thing I love the Denman for is uh, for creating a curl where your hair is not so even. Um, and that's what I've been using this for when I want to have uh, style my curls and get much more of a uniform result. Uh, actually wrapping my hair, detangling while it's wet um, and smoothing it around the handle, exactly like this. I'll pop a little clip in of styling my hair. And actually wrapping it around the handle is the way that this one works really, really well to give me that more definition and create curl clumps where my waves are not matching up to the rest of my curls. You see, it's super normal to have a mix of curl patterns across one head. In fact, I don't think I know anyone that has a completely 100% consistent curl pattern, uh, whether that's from waves to really, really tight uh, curls, anywhere and everyone has slightly different curl patterns around. Uh, for me, I tend to have more curls at the front, more waves at the back, probably because I sleep on them at the back and flatten them out so many different reasons where your hair has crowns and the pattern that your hair grows in also affects all of these things. So when you want to create a hairstyle that has a more uniform result, doing some brush styling when your hair is wet can really help with that process. So depending on what hair type you have, um, most people probably can get away with the smaller one. If you want to work a little bit faster, the larger one, and if you have very long hair, it's definitely when I would go with this one because wrapping it around the handle is so much easier on this brush. But this one, the little one has a piece in my heart. It's probably the one I reach for the most and is also the handiest for traveling with too. I used the Denman when I was styling and washing my hair earlier today. And I honestly say I reach for this when I want a consistent result. It's not something I'm gonna do every time I wash my hair, but I do really like the results from it. And I know that I get that real consistency because I have an event later. It's not just like hoping that my hair is gonna be sitting the right way. This helps really guarantee it. I'll pop some links for these brushes below. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comments or you can find me at Hair Romance all over social. Love to have a chat with you in the DMs there as well. Also head over to hairromance.com where I've got lots more hair tips and tutorials there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Have fun with your hair.